Yo, what up, geeks? Time for another episode of Global Geek Art in Depth. If you notice, I did have a little bit of a location change. Made myself a nice proper desk. That way I can do these videos on a little bit higher quality. Joined with me today is my main man, Adam. What's going on, man? I'm good. How are you, mate? Ah, another beautiful day. As always, getting to talk to a dude from all the way on the other side of the world just blows my mind. Although I do apologize for it being so early in the morning while we're recording this. <laughs> or late at night. Or late at night. Depends on how you want to look at it. So, as you guys know the routine at this point, right now, I've got some honorable mentions going on. There's... By no means any lack of fantastic work this week, but there is just way too much for me to be able to talk about and go into a serious in-depth video. Otherwise, we might be sitting here for hours. <laughs> you know, I got I got I got to ask this question though, Adam. How's that we have all these beautiful, fantastic artists with all this art clearly showing on our screen? Yeah. Yet I think there's only 13 people who have tried to submit for the competition. I, I don't get it. I mean, if all these people would, would, would put all these amazing images into the tournament, then we'd have a lot more competition. But... We, we would. We really would. And once again, if you guys do not know what the competition is, it's posted in our announcements on the Facebook page, Global Geek Art facebook page make sure you check it out i'll have a link in the description below as always and the winner of the entire competition gets a 3d model from that dude um and if you haven't seen yeah. some of the stuff he's doing it's fantastic dude is making and me a let me add let me add brian to be honest it was a the winner would get a selection of a of a piece of artwork True. Or a 3D uh, project. True. However, very true. And that and that nicer guy, the winner will get both. Oh. A 3D project and a piece of artwork. Oh my goodness. So you get both. So enter your projects, post your pictures, and you get both. A choice of 3D artwork and a commission. Can I submit some art now? Because I really want my Lich King piece uh, that you're doing. And, uh, <laughs> like, dude, this guy, see that sword that's in the painting right there that I'm only halfway done with? Yeah, he's making that. It's going to be, like, four foot long by the time he's done with it. Like. Yeah, about, about, about that. About that. <laughs> like, it's going to be pretty big. Um. But, like, this dude's fantastic. Show show him all kinds of love because he definitely deserves it in this group. But enough love with him, fantasies and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and let's make sure you click that bell down there and that red subscribe button because I love you guys and I hope you enjoy all these videos. But seriously, let's go ahead, jump into our first artist for the week. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to kick this off right off the bat. With some Infinity Gauntlet Iron Man armor. I don't think uh, Tony Stark would have died if he was wearing this. Definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> I like how the armor is based off the Infinity Gauntlet. But it really does look like Thanos' armor. Yeah. It's, um... Yeah, like I say, it's, it, it's kind of a combination of both, isn't it, really? So... I like the placements of the um, Infinity Stones as well. Yeah, it's not just like bundled. Like I like how it's actually spread out on him, and it's not just like all together. Yeah. That makes it makes it a little bit more unique. Probably a lot harder to steal those stones too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like how he's got the the one where his um, arc, you know, reactor is, and then he's got a couple either side and one. Yeah, it's a nice placement. I do like it. I do. I, I think this is a fantastic piece of art. Um, I, I always love digital art, what people can do. And then I think about how 
man, I couldn't do that. <laughs> no. So, I Brandon. Mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, I've tried digital, but you know, it, it, it's a very difficult thing to do. Dude, Brandon, he's a good dude here. Um, I've seen him do his digital artwork, and I've seen him do uh, traditional with pen and pencil, and he does a fantastic job at anything he's doing. So, Brandon, go ahead. Let's keep it up. Let's go ahead and check out the next person. So we go from one Marvel character to another overpowered Marvel character. We have Doctor Strange Supreme. Looks freaking wicked. Done by Jerome Gonzalez. Like yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a sucker for pencil pieces. I, I oh, really do. Oh yeah. I really do love the um, shadings. I, I love pencil artists. For the longest time, that's all I used to do. I never used to do paint or anything. It just, it was, it was graphite pencil. And I mean mechanical pencil. And that's all I ever did. And I'd do full shading. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a talent. And yet, and yet, and yet people start with that, but it's so difficult to get right. I mean knowing the shadings of the pencils and the different grades of the pencils to do it so you know if anyone can do it good then then kudos and i uh i think he does a fantastic job this it, it actually took me uh a couple of picks for you man i uh I, there was a there he had a few of them that i really liked this week but i decided I was going to pick as Doctor Strange because we, we don't get as much Marvel. We do get a lot of Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah. Fantastic show. Love the show. But sometimes you just got to spread that love around a little bit. Yeah. You, 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 you've got to have a bit of a ride. So. All right, Jerome. Good job. Let's go ahead and check out who's next. Yeah. All right, everybody. Now watch where you look on this piece. Got Itachi by Ivy Red. This piece was airbrushed, from my understanding, on canvas, I think, is what he uh, said. But you know what? Holy crap. I have seen a lot of Itachi Maybe. pictures, but I think this is probably the best one I've ever seen. Yeah, agreed. But if it was airbrushed on um, canvas, that's amazing because it almost looks digital, but... I, I'm pretty sure that's what I then. read from him at one point whenever somebody was talking about this piece. Mm. Well, if it's airbrushed on canvas and it looks digital, that just shows how good it is. I can't agree to that. That is a 100% fact. Like, everything about this just looks absolutely fantastic. I love the colors. I love the light and the yep. glow. Um, his eyes... Yeah, are the eyes. He, that, just just that red, the red pupils in the eyes that just makes it clash with with the red at the bottom as well. Correct. And and his bamboo hat thing, like looks good. Like it it looks like it's wood. It looks, you know, it does, it's not. It doesn't yeah. come off flat like I see a lot of times. And. And even and it even the um, lighting effects from the like the lightning or whatever it is. Uh huh. The the glow the glow of it look, look, looks great. Yeah, I I think this was a one hundred percent fantastically done piece of art, and I know this guy's a new member. And I cannot wait to see some of the other stuff he comes up with. Gonna have to talk to him. I want to learn how to airbrush myself. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go ahead. See who's next. So, I, I, I don't know. This piece has got me... Uh, how to put it? Intrigued. Very intrigued. intrigued. Um, it, it has so many elements that I love. So, first of all, this is a completely different style than anything we usually see on this channel. And I love that. It's a little bit more blocky, which is cool, yet it doesn't come off as um, clunky, I guess would be the best term for it. Mm. I mean, it has. Off the bat, I mean, I, I don't know what it is, but 
it's I don't know it's it has me drawn kind of has my mind thinking you know I'm curious what is it you know I admire the artwork in it but I just don't know what it is well see that's the thing that's the thing it looks like some sort of maybe Viking art, something like that. That's kind of mixed with like a cartoon style. But then I really look at this. I really look at this and I see the eyes and the tentacles, which uh, are very reminiscent of World of Warcraft uh, characters known as the old gods, which um, based, you know, based off kind of these giant octopus alien monsters. You know what? You know what? I was about to say very, very close to what you're saying is that it reminds me of the HP Lovecraft kind of stuff. Like, okay, so H- So if you don't know. Ancient, a- ancient octopus kind of gods. Well, so if you don't know, World of Warcraft is actually based off HP Lovecraft. A lot of. Well, there you go. Yep. I love. I love I love HP Lovecraft. So I've got you know. So Cthulhu in HP Lovecraft is known as Cthulhu in World of Warcraft. Uh, or there's also Nazoth, there which you know has the tentacles and the, the all-seeing eyes everywhere. So that's what it makes me think of. Exactly. I mean, I was thinking HP Lovecraft Cthulhu. You was thinking Warcraft, which is based on that. So exactly, it, it shows what it shows we're, we're on the same wavelength. It just <laughs> seems, it just seems like that kind of thing. Well, World of Warcraft might be a little bit of my nerd here. You know, that's what I geek about. So I know a lot of the in-depth story and the backstory on a lot of that stuff. So, but uh, dude, yeah. I, and yeah, Bobby and yeah, Blue and yeah, I'm, I'm, Holiday, this is. Freaking awesome, and I'd love to know more about this piece. So if you watch this video, please, 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 in the comments or on the Geek Art page, let us know. I want to, I want to know more about your art, man. I want to know about your style. I might even draw some more HP Lovecraft stuff. Right? Hey, it inspires me to do more. Let's go ahead. See who's next. Next up, we have Kimberly Watt. Another new member into the Geek Art page with a beautiful Majora's Mask art piece. Now, I'm probably going to catch a little hate for this one. I never really played all that much Legend of Zelda. You know what, Bran, Bran, <laughs> Mean Evil. Me neither. I, I've always been intrigued, but I've never really played it more. So. See, and that's just it. Like, I used to watch uh, an ex of mine. She used to play it all the time. And I used to love watching her get killed by chickens. But I just, yeah. I don't know. I never really played it myself. Like, I like puzzle games, which I know is what Legend of Zelda is about. But, I mean, I, mean, I think it was, I mean, um, don't get me wrong. A GameCube Game, remaster Game that I had, yeah, that kind of yeah. ruined me on it because I didn't understand what I was doing at the time. Well, I was kind of a Nintendo person, but I only ever used to play Mario. See, so, so you know, and I used to play Sonic and the mainstream, but Zelda, I really never really got into Zelda. And it's not for a lack of interest. It's just you know you kind of get to that point where you you never really get around to it, you know? No. And see, now I know there are new Zelda games coming out, but I don't have a Nintendo Switch and not really have a plan to get one. <laughs> mm, well, I have a Switch and, I'm, and I have Breath of Wild, which I never played, even though I had it. Wait, so you've got the game if you never played? All right, see, now you all can hate on him, because... <laughs> hate on me. Hate on me. I got the game, but I never... Because I have all three consoles, I always have the three generation of consoles, so I kind of find myself playing PlayStation or Xbox more, so I would only ever play 
Nintendo went out on the move, which wasn't a lot because. But yeah. No. Well, my awesome. problem was is usually when I was playing something Nintendo or handheld based, it was Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Back but day, anyway, hold on. We kind of got off subject talking about Kalo. Nintendo. Let, let, let's talk about Game Kimberly's Kalo piece Kalo of art here. Kalo. So, first of all, Kimberly, please do me a huge favor. I love your art. Could you just strain up that picture a little bit for me in the future? That way I can give you better highlights. <laughs> Yeah, but the I you know what I love the colors on this because yeah. they they're dark and they blend into the background, but yet they pop so well still. Mm. It contrasts very well, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Like like that blue, like really really stands mm. out, and it's just. It's beautiful, and it's like you can tell that like the green and the red are like that same wood, you know, material, straw material, whatever it may be. Yeah. But you know, it's just I don't know, man. I I yeah. I love I love I like, it. I like the use. I like the use of the colors, but like say, also the colors that the textured the same to to make it look the same as like right a, that's what um, i mean that's what i mean so it blends in well so um kimberly awesome job fantastic i love seeing your art um i know you're still pretty new into the group and i can't wait to see more things that you have coming in the future keep it up yeah and power going maximum broly as a super saiyan rose like yeah Holy crap! I, I, I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't say enough. I mean, I'll, I'll tell the truth. I think I'm good, but I look at this, and I think I want to be as good as this guy. Yeah, That's Damian Stewart, freaking killing it here. Makes that guy Daniel not. Uh, no, never mind. Daniel's still really good, but. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It makes a um, ten, ten, ten minute Daniel look what? It it makes him have to work harder and do more than just a quick sketch. Yeah. <laughs> Put like a day into it. Just a day. Yeah. But uh Man, dude. So first of all, it makes me ask questions here. It's like, okay. So is this Broly possessed by Zamasu, I'm assuming, and that's what's giving him the rose power? Or is it Broly somehow tapped into it himself? I don't know. But either way, that smile gives me the old school Broly vibes, which is yeah. sick, and I love it. Yeah. The the de the I attention to detail and shading in the hair yeah. and in the muscles are Freaking fantastic! I also I also like the dynamic perspective, how it's three D, like with his fist closest mm -hmm. to you, and then bodies away from you. It so, definitely doesn't come off and, flat. And the, that's for sure. No, no, and the black the black shadows almost like like legends. Or yeah, heroes. like a legends uh, character. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just actually, I just realized he's got the Zamosu earring on. I actually didn't even pick up on that until I'm like really looking at it here. But, uh. Yeah, again, again, I think, I think, I think the pink, pink hair of Rose was a favorite of a lot of people. So mm -hmm. why not, why not put it on Broly? You know, it's, it's, it's absolutely hilarious to me how you take a color like, pink and you put it on a bad guy and also you know and it becomes this beautiful evil monstrous thing that everybody just becomes instantly drawn to like i remember when they first said that goku black was going to have pink hair in super saiyan and everybody was like really 
Because they didn't have enough yeah. colors. They're going to make it pink. Oh my god, this could be so terrible. Yeah, but now look is, at it. Everybody thing, thinks pink is awesome. Yeah, but the thing is, if they didn't introduce pink to a villain, or pink on Goku or Vegeta, then they would still be having funny memes about Goku and Vegeta with pink hair. Well, that's because true. Villain, because it was a villain, it seemed to have worked for some reason. Well, and it was semi-only temporary because of the fusion into Fusimas, so... But, uh, yeah. Damien, dude, you know that we are hi- we have you hyped up on this piece. It's fantastic. Keep it up. I can't wait to see what the next massive piece you have coming is. So, until next yeah. time, keep on working it. So, it's been a while since I've gotten to feature this beautiful woman, Amanda Newins, with an Omni-Man piece that she painted. And if I know her... Most likely there's a bunch of fingerprints in here because she paints this shit with her fingers, people. Yep. Like, And I think I think this one is actually painted in glow, glow in the dark paint as well. It is done in glow in the dark paint. Ultraviolet. So I'm going to have to make sure that you guys all get a look at that right there. So, beautiful piece. I love this chick. Like, I love everything she does. She is out of this freaking world. She's a busy mom of three, yet she still has time to do fantastic art like this. And And you know what? It's amazing. You know what I call her? I call her legs. (laughs) That's just because she has Dragon Ball tattoos all the way up her leg that she did herself. True, but they're also nice legs. Sorry, that made me a little thirsty. Um, But, uh... Amanda, you know I got mad love for you. Keep up the fantastic work. I don't want to take too long because I could talk about her all day. So let's go ahead and check out who's next. Oh, and speaking of Pokemon, we were just talking about this. Saquon Ellison doing this beautiful Charmander piece. But why is that baby Charmander in the rain? Don't you know you got to cover up its little flame? Otherwise, it's going to go out. He'll die. Yeah, I, I, I love this piece. Like I say, the, the orange of Charmander with the background makes it pop. The rain the rain hitting Charmander makes it kind of like white outline. Mm-hmm. I, I really like it. No, it's it's beautiful. I'm actually kind of wondering, because I have a couple ideas for some pieces in the rain myself, but I have no idea how to go about it. So, Saquon, if you have any advice, you should let me know. That way I... Uh, can have a beautiful piece like this myself. Um, but everything about this Charmander is just absolutely beautiful. I love the light that is in that in the background. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm, it kind of looks like Charmander's staring at it. So it makes me yeah. curious. But it could just be a light pole in the background. I don't know. Um, obviously Charmander's cute little flame on the back of his tail. And he's just beautifully shaded um yeah blended blended really well very well so but uh yeah beautiful piece of work dude beautiful i love it um can't wait to see more from you i oh no i was gonna ask if he put this one in the tournament but he did a a ahsoka ahsoka tano which looked really, really good too. It had really great lighting in that one as well. So he's good at those effects. Well, there's plenty more Pokemon for him to draw for us. That's true. That's very true. So let's go ahead. Let's see who our last person is for the day. Our last artist of the week is Devante Ross with this killer Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm going to say I've always said it. I love the form of Super Saiyan 4. I just wish it wasn't in GT. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I love the form of G- of Super Saiyan 4, but just don't love GT. Yeah. Like, I, don't, like, I-, I love this piece. Once again, we've had some great shading tonight. Um, a lot of really dark shading. I like that... You and I were actually talking about this earlier this week about 
that Dragon Ball Legends style of really yeah. dark paneling and col- uh, contrasts. Yeah, like the, the really dark black shadings mm-hmm. and then working off of that. Yeah, it, it's really nice. It is. It, it gives. Really it nice. it gives. To me, it feels like another layer to the art itself. Like Dragon Ball is a very bright um, art style, and when yeah. you give it Whereas those this, really dark it, shading tones, it makes it yeah. a much grainier um, art style. Gritter, gritter. yeah, Grit, a more gritty, yeah. adult art style. Exactly, exactly. M- makes it feel a lot less childish and more, more, more based for the adults. Yeah. I love. I, I wish. I wish all of Dragon Ball Super was done like this with blood. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Ball needs blood. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, it kind of is like it's like the Joker in the cartoon compared to the Joker in the Dark Knight. It's, exactly. It's very like like that. Kitty, but then adult. Yeah, yeah. Um, Saquon, dude, I I don't know what you what what to say about this piece, man. I really don't. You've got a beautiful Super Saiyan Four Goku. Your background's interesting because you've got like this half and half yeah. blue to pink, and I don't recognize it from anything. So I'm not quite sure if it's just a uh, what what it's going for. I, I I was about to say as you said about the background, I thought the the background it's not recognizable, but it's <gasps> very hmm? kind of crazy manic kind of contrasting colors that make the character pop even more, especially the yellow. Which is what I was which is what I was thinking. But you know now actually that I, I'm really looking at it, you know what it kind of makes me think of. Boo. So, um, during the baby arc, when Goku first turned into a Super Saiyan 4, uh, they were on the revived planet Vegeta, which was kind of a red color, and Goku transformed because he looked at planet Earth and the blood waves were bouncing from the moon off the Earth and hitting him. So, maybe that's supposed to be the Earth, you know, like glowing, and that's what made him, you know, transform. That's just my thought. Yeah, could be. Like I say it could be, could be, could be a number of things, but everyone's interpretation could be different. But True. it looks good. It does. Way. It looks fantastic. Saquon, so keep up the brilliant work. I love to see what you guys got going on. All right, guys, it's been another awesome week of Global Geek Art in depth once again. Please make sure to like and subscribe to these videos if you enjoy my content. If you'd like to see more of us, go to our Instagram. Go Make sure you're on the Facebook page. Find us on TikTok. Until next time, guys. See ya. And as my buddy Austin would say, peace, love, and bubble gum. <laughs>